This new bike it's wild. Tons of new features. Front and rear camera, super cool lights, integrated speakers, GPS with 5G connectivity, cloud services and so much more. 70 to 72 miles an hour top speed and insane range. This is the new Naxion IM electric motorcycle. And after riding this bike for close to two weeks, I can say this is a properly set up bike. It is incredibly silent and so comfortable. The front suspension and the rear, body smooth, so much travel is just perfect. It is a compact, quick monster. We have 7.5 kilowatt rear hub motor, maximum output 12.5 kilowatts. And you have on top of that a boost button that lets you go wild. We have a 72 volt system and a 100 amp hour battery. This is the biggest battery I have seen so far in this bike size. And pre-orders are open now for 7,500 US dollars. A very sturdy frame that weighs with this gigantic battery and motor bringing this bike to a total of 302 pounds. The design is awesome. Not so much with this rear fender and license plate, especially these ugly rear lights are so freaking boring. Now with all that nonsense removed, this bike looks sick. Before we get into the insane amount of features that this bike is loaded with, we need to first go over the power, torque and performance. I'm super impressed guys how this company responded so they're very fast I asked them yesterday guys can I get the firmware update can I install this directly on this unit so I can ride in nighttime and have the lights on and uh, see how cool it is they responded this morning saying that go in the menu go in the settings and do over there update to have the patch for you ready just update the firmware and you have it this is insane and this is the first company that after Sun Ronster got the video out and I think they he should not you know post that video I think personally he should have waited for them to fix the issues and make the video after one week or after I don't know two weeks or a couple days I don't know how long it took for them to fix all these uh, issues I think the video was on their channel right after he posted the video I think a few days after that and what's impressive this is the first company that I see online that actually followed up, had a long statement in the comments on his channel and also on Facebook. Also, they post updates, uh, they made a video on your channel. So nobody in the world did this so far in the micromobility that I'm aware of. If I'm wrong, guys, comment below and let me know. But uh, I like that. Very straightforward, transparent, and they fix this unit. So I have 66 miles on the speedometer and uh, on the screen right here. And I don't know if you can call it speedometer, but no issues seat no issues the torque actually it's increased they made it so intense sail you have dynamic and zigzag i rode so far in zigzag and it's pretty powerful and uh, i think if you go on dynamic maybe it's more we'll try dynamic and see we'll do a test uh, run right now but performance it's impressive and this bike the specs are insane but uh, let's go and do a speed test let's do acceleration test and see how this bike performs. I think they have in the app, uh, let me see here, uh, and this is their app, which is pretty cool. Um, I think you can bind your phone for the hotspot. Uh, device update, proceed, okay. That's gonna, that's gonna update, I believe. Yeah, it's updating, I think. You can bind the phone and you can actually transfer the information here and you can see the directions and everything, which will do that later. And the most important thing for me is that it's synced it's very precise, you'll see the GPS with the calibration on the screen, it's very accurate. This screen alone, look at the brightness. The quality is through the roof, guys. And I'll do close-ups, I'll do a walk around so you can see all details, how the wires are connected, the brakes. It has ABS, I actually removed the ABS so I can lock it in and slide. Uh, it doesn't allow you to do burnouts, it's limited, but still, it's super aggressive, it's fast, it's powerful and uh yeah i'm actually surprised and i think this is a really good bike for the money look at it picks up really really fast kind of jumps and let's do let's do a zigzag hopefully you guys can see the difference zigzag yeah it just wants to take off a slight move so really good torque whoa that was close i have 
even sure in the turning signal. People in Virginia are just really bad drivers. Nice car and he almost ran him over. She ran him over almost. Suspension, it's incredible on this bike. And look, I'm just barely touching the throttle. Now look at this. Open to the max and it just goes. 50, 3 in like a couple of seconds. Really impressive, guys. Acceleration is just exactly how it should be. This guy is slipping at the light. So in the traffic, and this is designed for urban areas, for the city, this is perfect. It's more than enough power, actually. You accelerate, no problem. And it's pretty aggressive, I would say. And it's heavy, 302 pounds. The battery alone, it's 100 amp hour. So justifies the weight, but besides that, at top speed, when you go over 50 miles an hour, it just feels, it just feels comfortable. Yeah, the bike is solid. I hope the mic doesn't uh, do anything weird because the last time there was some like scratching noise. I tried to put the mic inside my jacket. Hopefully we have a good audio. So guys, I kind of chickened out a little bit. There's cars in front, so there's not enough room and I have to stop here. But uh, 67, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I could have gone uh, faster, I think. I think 60 is enough for this bike. <laughs> it just feels like you're going 100 miles an hour. The air around you is just, I don't know, it's impressive. But also, look at suspension. It is so freaking plush and so much travel, so soft. And when you go over bigger bumps, you don't feel anything. It's that good. The road cleared up so nicely here, so I'm going to go for the max again, and the bike feels so good. Acceleration is so smooth, feels so safe. It is incredibly stable, quiet. I see the boost is engaging, and the bike is taking off again. No cars, super flat. I think I found the best spot to test the speed here. A bit windy, but suspension works so well. This bike is so much fun to ride at the maximum speed, and it shows 70 miles an hour. Later, guys, I checked on my phone and it shows 72 miles an hour max. So I'm happy with the result. I'm mostly riding at 50s to 55 miles an hour. So this is more than enough for me. This wrench test was insane. I rode this bike continuously for over two hours and a half. Mostly riding aggressively in the fastest mode, speeds between 30 to 55 miles an hour, mostly 40, 45, 50. I had to take a break at 50% battery capacity. My ass got numb since it only charged to 98%. I covered 38.5 miles in range. So the battery dipped to 50%, now 49 and total mileage 62. Since yesterday and today, I started at 21 or 20. The GPS shows 38.5 miles. I weigh right now 250 pounds with the backpack, uh, with the gear. So 250 pounds and getting 77 miles in range, going fast in the city, aggressive acceleration, hard braking. I was not trying to save the battery. I think the results are pretty impressive. If you weigh, let's say, 200 pounds or less, you're probably gonna get close to 90 to 100 miles in range, which is uh, advertised at the beginning it was showing here 111 miles um, and depending I was riding in zigzag so you have here in the vehicle control you have dynamic sail so if you go sail or dynamic you'll definitely get over a hundred miles in range depending how you ride terrain but in this conditions getting 77 miles in the range 
that is impressive guys that's very good result the next day i did the same test in a sail mode with speeds between 25 to 40 miles an hour mostly 30 35 and i covered 96 miles in range my weight was 250 pounds with a backpack and gear if you run 200 210 pounds 180 pounds you'll get 100 plus miles in range easily the results are insane one thing that needs to be adjusted when you park it when you lower the kickstand you should go to park and it does and it stays in drive you have to press here so it goes and park i think once you activate the kickstand it should go automatically in the park mode and then when you sit when you lift it up it should go and drive or you have to press in order to go and drive i think that's how um, i think it should be safer and that's what i've seen other electric bikes we don't have that here so maybe this needs to be updated anywhere there are major structure bolts there's a check mark check mark everywhere look at the cable management all the spacers good quality tires and i removed uh, abs so i can like grip and uh, brake aggressively all around quality all hardware all the checkpoints everywhere here all check all the main structure frame like big parts big bolts even inside there you see there's check marks everywhere suspension all very nicely done stainless steel hardware all around but there's no vibration i don't know why the mic picks up this noise at the high speed depth double check and see maybe there's settings i need to adjust um cable management rubber quality uh cockpit here if you see like the only thing is this is kind of like thick to match transition i would like to see um i don't know if that's doable maybe i would like to have my phone here somehow like mounted right on the side i would like to have that so in case if you want to use google maps or some different will be nice but then you can pair it with the screen so pretty much i think is the same uh this uh button here i think should be slightly more inwards a little closer i think but besides that this console's this console's very comfortable very easy to reach very loud high quality screen i love the screen even a daylight when it's super bright you can read it there's no glare but all around quality is impressive good lights very bright the camera on the back um yeah i i just like design wise i dig it i'm gonna remove this in the back and uh, figure out the lights maybe put turning signals make some aluminum brackets and put it here on the side or transfer this here i think will be so much cooler or maybe here will be so much better and have this all open now the only thing is if it rains that's gonna suck but i don't think you should ride a motorcycle in the rain and all here good shock all covered here's the side view it just looks insanely cool guys especially at night with the lights we're gonna ride and uh, see how it does but uh the front looks exceptionally well done i love the front like up to the middle here is just perfect i feel like here something is missing it still looks very good but maybe needs some maybe a rear rack a small one that looks more aggressive so kind of feel and kind of continue that front sport line the aggressive line in the back and the back is more smooth more round you see here it just like cuts angles but i like this detail here looks really cool i like this heavy duty frame aluminum thick uh, rear arm is just really nicely done guys love the design especially in the front look how nice it looks it needs uh, the original lights that you see on the website to be placed this is like kind of big and bulky and i think it looks so much better this uh, fan noise is annoying but this is what it is guys and i have here in the basement a charging tesla station this is how it looks like so let's power on the the bike you can actually also use the app and uh, you can see here charging and this is speed 836 watts three hours to fully charge and a half so i believe about seven hours to fully charge with direct uh home uh, plug household plug so that's about charging and this is how it looks like you connect directly and the charger it's pretty big the connector and this uh port here and it's a pretty thick wire i think it's like six or eight gauge so pretty sturdy when you're done just tap the key or you can lock from your phone and just walk away and this is what happens when you park the bike and if somebody tried to steal it or you know move it so front locks in 
and now the alarm goes off. And it's pretty loud. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. And it's so much better. It looks like more aggressive, more sportier. I want to go over negatives. And these are tiny things that can be very fast, very easily adjusted and replaced. The seat, if you ride one hour, one hour and a half, you're fine. It's very, very comfortable. If you pass one hour and a half, go to two hours, two hours and a half, uh, you start getting in numbness feelings and you start shifting in the back. Kind of feels super comfortable when you shift first 15, 20 minutes, but then it starts to hurt. So any motorcycle, if you sit for two hours and a half, three hours, you're gonna feel discomfort. But I think here, if you add another half an inch of padding and maybe make it more rounder, this is gonna fix and make it so much better. And the last thing is the mirrors. Gap here, which I mentioned in the first video, and it doesn't matter how much you tighten here, they still move. So, you know, it's not a big deal, easy to fix, but these are uh, the negatives about the bike, the pros, the range is insane, the comfort, I love it, torque, insane for me, like I like how it goes zero to 30, and then like very comfortably, gradually like, slows down a little bit, but still, 40, 50, it gets there very fast. And then for 50 to 70, it kind of crawls. But for safety reasoning, I think this is good. Uh, you don't want a motorcycle where you just touch the throttle and just does wheelies and flips you over. So besides that, design-wise, love it, guys. And I like it that it's smaller, so it's not like a full motorcycle size and uh, it's easier to handle. Oh, one more thing about the handle. Here, I love this. Like the way the Super 73 RX has that small little rack, I want them, like this is cool, but there's no handle here to put your hand and to like shift it left and right, which sometimes in parking lot and the tight spaces that is needed. So uh, I want them to make a handle here, maybe goes around, like something that is still sexy and sportier, but like something that goes around here so you can grab it, right? And you can not lift it, but somehow like, kind of like shift it left and right because uh, if you have a big garage, you just roll it in, you're fine. But if you have a smaller place and you have cars around, that will be cool. And also, like the Super Sentry RX, it extends in the back and looks so freaking cool. So that will be awesome. And maybe put like a small backpack, small pouch there, uh, you know, for storing. And another thing is here, I'm going to remove this and show you guys in a second, but it will be cool to have storage here. I like the cameras in the front, in the back, you can record. You can see in real time, they're gonna do a firmware update for that. Um, yeah, a lot of features on this bike and I'm not gonna go over all of them. I just wanna point out the most important ones. But design, guys, look at this light in the front and from the angle, I don't know if the video and pictures do justice. In person, this bike looks so much better. It's just very sleek, very simple futuristic and really cool design, especially this wheels covers, uh, really make the bike look so much better. And I saw the white one they have on their website and also they have the, the website uh, lights. I think I'm gonna get those and put them in the front and the back. So much better looking, small surface, but you can put higher and uh, higher quality LEDs and be brighter, so still be safe in traffic. And everything gets encased properly, all hidden. Guys, I'm really impressed how they came through really fast, did all the adjustments, and if you look here, all covered, all beautifully done. It doesn't feel cheap, it actually feels solid, and this is plastic, and this is aluminum, all recycled, no waste. Exceptionally well done, guys. I really like it. This is super cool bike. I wanna see more of this, and uh, hopefully they can make a similar version, but for off-road. Uh, you know, knobby tires and have like maybe 50 miles, 55 uh, top speed, but mostly torque and like crush the ground and like insane power from the start. Once I got home, the Wi-Fi network kicked in and the bike started updating the firmware and it did all of this by itself. And now the lights are on all the time, day or nighttime. And you're not gonna see it in the daytime, but in the evening, it just looks sick. Just look how bright this thing is. This is insane. You can see it from far away on the roads, anywhere I would drive, people just stop at the lights. It'll be like, oh, this is a Tron bike. This is so cool. You get so many compliments. People just stare and ask questions 
options and look how bright it is it might not be legal in a lot of states but for now i'm gonna just you know take my chances ride it and have fun so this is the app that you get with the bike and it shows you let's refresh it shows you uh, all the information about the bike lock on lock cushion to remove cover for charging port binding yes status update lock on lock from the phone location ride and you can uh, see here riding history i did not record but actually has some num oh there's nothing here so it shows how much you charge how much you, uh, you pay for it and uh, the distance and all that stuff that you have to power on the up and record i didn't do that video recording so you can record your rides front and back import export delete select so a lot of uh, stuff here uh, what else we have uh, vehicle that shows you the information about the vehicle mileage uh, 187 kilometers and here i have 156 miles so that's not correct um, let's see what else we have here we have a service and that goes into the cloud so you can uh, connect with the company and go from there and location so that's uh what you get in app let's see if there's anything else here i think this is pretty much it and here you can scan all right so pretty simple pretty basic app but all i think you need for this uh, not sure if anything else and let me show you guys the seat also you can do all this uh, option functions from the screen you can touch open the charging port if you want to remove the seat and look inside seat lock press it opens up and there's your seat so this is how it looks inside and the advantage here regarding the seat construction that it's easier to remove and uh, make very fast very quick with adjustments and ship the customer a second seat or upgrade this one i like how clean this is look not much wiring super nicely done i believe if you remove the screws right here on the side and also the bottom you'll be able to remove the panels and get to the bike we're not gonna do this in this video maybe in the follow-up and maybe in a couple of months when i get over 1000 2000 miles but uh, so far guys there's one wire here for something else sticking out so far i think the bike is uh, well done it's a new product that just hit the market so there will be bugs but what's giving me confidence and peace of mind is that the company is here to support and they want to do better and they seem to move quickly and uh, very responsive so there you have it guys this is the bike uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below the bike just feels so nimble and light while riding easy and so maneuverable i think this is the best option if you're trying to learn and get into bike riding it's a new bike okay. race. <laughs> it is not big and intimidating like the hd life wire where an avid biker will feel comfortable and someone that's starting will be afraid to even try it has a better balance it is right in the middle size but still offers a huge range good speed and a very comfortable ride how big the battery on it 100 amps well this is not compared to yours but yours is massive it's a powerhouse yeah, yeah. It is designed for the city lifestyle, but I would ride it anywhere. It's so convenient, so easy to handle. Love the look and the extra functions are just super handy here. I was wondering who this bike guy was. I just uh, got the new firmware, so the side lights are on. <laughs> and it's just like, let's see what he thinks. <laughs> How's the power? It's pretty amazing, man. The battery is almost empty when it's fully charged, it's like more power. Oh, really? Yeah. Go for it, man. Try it. Nah, it. Okay. You're naked. <laughs> sure, you can, right? Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy that's always working on a Porsche and stuff. So I see this oh, yeah. I saw you downstairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, try it. Come on. Go for it. Do you nah, try? I'm good right now. Dude. Try I'll, it. Don't I'll, be. I'll try it another time. Maybe we'll convert from Porsche to electric, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like bikes, though. No. Yeah, you said I, I had a Kawasaki in college. So. I never had gasoline, but I have. Good night. Good night. I have. Um, I can oh, like, I don't want to drop anything. Yeah. Thank you. Have fun, yeah. Thank you. My yeah. pleasure, my pleasure. So I have um, cake caulk. I have like new solar V2. I have a bunch of other motorcycles. I have the Saunders Metacycle. And this actually has a lot of torque. Where do you keep them? I have a garage. Oh, okay. The cars, we have two cars. We keep it here. 
but this we have a different. I mean, I keep this here, but yeah. when I change different motorcycle, I drop it in the other garage, yeah. and I bring one home because I can't bring all five, six here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this has a lot of torque. It's like zero to thirty, like three what point. Is this? this is a, an Axion new bike, but it's the way it's built. It's so comfortable. It's so responsive. No, so I know it looks. It yeah, looks pretty awesome. And the, and I, I did the uh, the firmware up there. So the lights are always on, and it's like <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree. It's so bright, you know. Dude, it's like Tron, man. It's, yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, no, I'm stoked for this uh, for the for the generation, man. For for the electronic generation revolution coming. In. It's cool, yeah, man. I saw it downstairs working on the Porsche. I'm like, who's that guy? Every yeah, day I see you working. Race, that's my race car. It's a race got, car. Yeah, I got the other one too. The other Porsche down there too. Next time I see you, I'll stop by and check nah, it out. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, what's your name? Uh, Vitaly Havglas. Vitaly. 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 Yeah. Are you Ukrainian or? Russian? I'm uh, Moldovian. Moldovian. So Moldova, but oh, okay. uh, I, I moved uh, to US like last like 15 years. Oh, okay. This is like my baby now. This thing is so cool. No, yeah, it's a pretty cool. <laughs> I said that, that, that's a nice one. You like it? Quiet. This is one of the noises. It's a battery. It's nice. The evening is better when yeah. it's completely dark. Yeah, it is. You can play your music as a speaker. You can do a lot of things. It's nice. What is it? How how far does 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 it go for a single turn? It chart? depends how fast do you ride. Yeah, yeah. Like if you go full speed, 70 miles an hour, like 55, 65. Probably about 70, 75 miles in range. If you go like 35, 30, over 100 miles in range. That's, that's super good. That's really yeah, good. it depends. For the city, like I, I rode yesterday in a city, about 100 miles in range. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. nice. It's beautiful. Thank you. In the comments, I saw you requested shots going over bridges, potholes, bumps to see how suspension performs and feels. And here it is. It works flawlessly. So comfy. Perfect rebound, good travel, great at high speeds, which is very important for me. Keeps the bike stable. For 7.5K price level, this is extremely good. If you go into settings here, this bike has a lot of features. So you have GPS location, directions, you have home, office, charging station locations, like Tesla temperature, outside and outside, rear tire pressure, front tire pressure. You have here specs, energy power delivery, tracking, and also you have the camera. You have front, and back and settings and settings you have display you have a lot of adjustability here temperature units language widgets you have sound and lighting a lot of stuff here to customize systems speakers sound video security vehicle control the most important for me you have seat lock steering lock charging lock you have multi functions on the bottoms uh, so a lot of things power mode you have to go in priority and then use this boost button that's going to give you more speed more power for like 20 seconds and here you can actually do a lot of other stuff but for me what's important this option stone age it shuts off all this extra whistles and bells all these extra features and lets you just use raw power of the bike simple like any other rider you just jump on it and just use the throttle and the brakes and that's pretty much it so i like that makes the bike very nimble very aggressive very fast and here tcs not sure what this abbreviation stands for but when you hit potholes it doesn't affect the motor so it's like when you re remove this right if i press now on so if you're gonna hit something it's gonna kind of disconnect for a second so it doesn't allow the wheel to slip right and uh, keep the traction on still so when you remove it doesn't do that it just goes full power and the tire actually kind of spins right abs i ride without abs and auto recorder and bsd radar not sure what that is but there's a lot of here network connectivity and user biting with the phone so you can actually uh, mirror your phone to the screen which is pretty cool so guys uh these are the most important functions here um, and I like the screen, good quality, easy touch, super bright, even a very sunny day. So the only thing, oh, the only thing that actually is kind of annoying here is that it's so bright when you ride in the night. It's kind of like too bright, and I couldn't find the settings to lower the uh, the brightness. So it might be here somewhere. I have to play or ask the company where that is. But uh, besides that, uh, very pleased with the bike, guys. This is a very cool bike. Probably the coolest I tried so far on the channel. I hope there's more to come. 
but uh, simple features design everything hidden cover very nice lights I like evening you know when you ride those lights on just looks uh, like a Tron bike so guys uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what do you think I hope you liked it as much as I uh, did and I hope it cleared up all the questions and all the nonsense that some uh, viewers commented in the previous video look at this takeoff I'm not sure if this was set up to go faster but it's insane look at this it just goes 50 almost 60 I have to break here in no time so much more aggressive and just picks up right away like there's a lot of turns and twists here so I have to like break but and also downhill but it's very agile and very responsive so guys this is like a cyberpunk vibes this design this uh, bike but I don't know compared to k -Calc, which I own I have the solar the new bike I you know I tried I tested Saunders and I had it for a while I tried the uh, Rivet Anthem and uh, Land Motors so compared to those bikes this blows them away on performance on features like range is insane top speed is actually higher than cake and the land motors i think i hit 65 68 it doesn't go more than that this is 70 72 on gps so so much better and it's been like over a week and i just can't stop riding this bike and i like this more than other bikes and it's 7500 pre-order price right now so it's uh, a little bit higher than the uh, rivet but the other ones even if the same price or lower i feel like this is like i feel like i want to ride this more and i can't stop riding this bike it's just so convenient so easy to use and the power is just amazing i hope all other units are set up this way or even faster but like this one and i have over 200 miles this thing look uphill it just performs incredible i never had any issues with the seat with disconnect with I mean the features everything works as a shoot it's just impressive performance and here is a steeper hill and you can see I just twist and it just goes picks up speed really really nicely it's not super aggressive but it's also it's not slow and on flats it just takes off so much faster I can ride 55 60 so comfortably on this bike the brake suspension is just amazing I had so much fun riding this thing for last uh, a week almost two weeks so guys uh i hope you enjoyed it too this video and i'll see you guys on the road ride safe and i'll see you next time